Guys, I get so pumped every time I see that intro video. Travis put this together. Oh my gosh. There's a link below if you want to check out his G+. And send him a thanks for this sweet intro. Because you guys probably get pumped every time you see that. And you're just like, I want to learn iOS. I want to learn Android. I want to learn everything, you know. And so anyways, uh, <laughs> thank him for that. Also, Nolan, uh, good buddy of ours, provided the music for that. And that is sick. So anyways... Hope you guys enjoyed the new intro video. Anyways, in this tutorial, what we're going to be going over is the automatic property synthesis. New to kind of the Xcode 4.5, 4.4, 4. Uh, I think was also included in this. And we've had some issues with people saying, hey, when I connect my objects and my outlets and stuff like that, the synthesize is no longer, you know, popping up in my implementation. So I'm going to go over that with you guys and then uh, show you kind of where... Uh, this this whole thing's going and uh, so you guys can uh, basically understand it on your own and go from there so I'm gonna go and go ahead and create a single view application and within that you basically we've got one view and we've got a class associated to that view which is view controller dot h over on here and I'm gonna go ahead and just use the iPhone storyboard just so it's not so freaking large and in this case we're gonna take the label and this is just for you know example purposes not really gonna have a meaning to it besides auto synthesizing and once you've got that label on screen we're gonna go to the editor and open up the assistant editor now previously you could uh, you could basically declare your outlets a couple different ways you could do it manually and you know write property you could also you know basically go in auto you could basically set the getters and setters the old-fashioned way took a lot of time that's where um, objective C kind of advanced the language and they said hey what if we just did a property and a synthesize and we that basically told the compiler that hey we've got we've got auto setter or we've got getters and we've got setters that we can use in this case so it advanced a little bit more and what we you know typically would do is we'd take this outlet here we'd hold control click and drag over into our associative class and we can insert the outlet. Now here is where we can name our outlet, so we'll just name it, name it label. All right. So in the previous versions of Xcode in the Objective C language, when we hit connect here, you'll see that it declared a property here. And then if we go to our implementation view controller.m, what it used to do is below the implementation here, it would say synthesize, and it would pre-fill in that piece of code there. And so we knew that it synthesized. Well, now since the newest version of Objective C and Xco is holding that uh, newest version, it doesn't put in the synthesize visually or in front of you on screen. It does it in the background. So basically, when the compiler comes to your header file and it says, "Hey, I've got a property here," it's going to auto synthesize if as long as you don't tell it not to. So in this case our label is synthesized and so what we do is let's just let's set the the text of that label so label dot text equals and we'll just put hello and end the string there now that's what we would do because essentially our, our synthesize would come up and we would synthesize it like this and that's how we'd leave it but with the newest version of Objective-C basically what our what our compiler is doing is it's saying Hey, let's synthesize the property, and let's let's bring it up to the latest naming convention, the the best naming convention, which is underscore before your variable name or your instance variable name. So in this case, the compiler writes this code behind the scenes. So it not only synthesizes the outlet, it establishes the instance variable that we'll use later. So knowing that now the default way to synthesize or basically Xcode and the compiler are taking care of this part so we don't even need this but this is how they're doing it we're gonna delete that out we can't anymore basically just write label like our outlets named we have to use the instance variable with the underscore to complete that now 
you'll see that if we leave it as label and we go to this error here, it's going to prompt you and basically say, hey, we've got an undeclared identifier. Did you mean underscore label? So it's going to help you understand what you did wrong. But some people are like, dude, I clicked yeah and have no idea what it's actually doing, but it fixed it. So that's for you guys to, to understand. Now we'll just go ahead and run this, make sure that we've hooked up our outlet correctly, and we should have a hello label on screen now and why the heck am I using an iPad so screw that click stop go back change that to an iPhone and click run there alright so once that finally loads you'll see that we got the hello on screen and we should be good to go with that so that's gonna be the basics this is automatic property synthesis APS and uh, one last thing if you guys aren't on G Plus or Google Plus, hit it up. I've got links to Travis and myself's G Plus accounts, and uh, we're definitely responding a lot quicker to those because we're on G Plus, we're on Google, YouTube, a lot more than you know Facebook or anything like that. So there's links below if you want to check that out. Don't forget to like the video, and we'll catch you guys in the next quick tip.